All right, so let's review because we're, we're taking a test this week. The test, remember, covers everything we've seen in the unit. So we're closing this unit. So let's take a look. We're going to start with question number 49. We're, for today, we're going to stop at 54. So first thing is solve each system by elimination. Sometimes you might just say solve the system. You can solve it by graphing, substitution, elimination, however you want. Now, of elimination, my idea, my hope is that when I combine my letters, in this case, X or Y, I'm hoping one of them cancels out. If I combine the Xs, I get negative 12. If I combine the Ys, I get negative 6. So at this point, none of them cancels out. What I'm going to do, let me just copy my first equation right now as it is. So I have a negative x minus 9y equals negative 30. My second equation, let me multiply everything by 3. So that gives me negative 33x plus 9y is equal to negative 72. I multiplied everything by 3. The reason why, because I wanted one of my letters to cancel out. In this case, I wanted the y's to cancel out. Because negative 9 plus 9 is 0. 0 y, so basically goes away. When I combine the x's, I get negative 34x. Now, negative 30, negative 72, that gives me negative 102. Let me divide everything by a negative 34. So I get x is equal to positive 3. Now, for me to find the value of y, I'm going to use x is equal to 3. And let me plug it in. So this is one of my answers. Let me plug it in here. You can use any equation you want. So I have negative 3 minus 9y is equal to negative 30. This negative 3, let me move it over as a plus 3. So I have that negative 9y is equal to negative 27. Once I divide both sides by negative 9, I get y is equal to positive 3. I'm solving for the value of both letters, x and y. It could be any variable that I want. In this case, x and y. Let's take a look at number 50. Let me try to solve this one by, by elimination as well. I want one of my letters to cancel out. I'm looking at the x's. I think I can cancel out the x. What I'm going to do, let me multiply everything by 2 to begin with. So I know that one's going to give me 20x. But on the x's, I need one of them to be negative. So in this case, let me multiply everything by a negative 2. So when I do that, I'm going to get negative 20x minus 12y is equal to negative 36. I multiplied everything by a negative 2. Don't forget to switch the signs. My second equation is just 20x minus 7y equals negative 21. I know the x's are going to cancel out. right? In order for them to cancel out, the number has to be the same. So 20, but one of them has to be positive. One of them has to be negative. When I combine the y's, I get negative 19y. And then negative 36 with a negative 21 gives me negative 57. Now to solve for y, let me divide everything by a negative 19. And I'm going to get y is equal to, in this case, positive 3. That's one of my answers. If I'm solving for y, y is equal to 3. Now to solve for x, let me use one of my equations. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to use this one. The original one, the, before I multiplied, I have 10x plus 6 times 3 is equal to 18. So I have that 10x plus 18 is equal to 18. All right, 6 times 3. That's why I got the 18. 
Let me move this plus 18 as a minus 18. So that gives me 10x is equal to zero. Let me divide both sides by 10. So I get that x is equal to zero. Let's take a look at question number 51. I think I can cancel out the x's if I multiply the second one by three. My x's are gonna cancel out. So let me just go negative 12x minus 10 wide is equal to negative 28. My second equation, I have 12x minus 12 wide is equal to 72. I multiplied everything by three. I notice the x's cancel out. So that gives me negative 22 wide. Now 72 minus 28, I have to subtract them because they have different signs. It's 44. Once I divide both sides by a negative 22, I get y is equal to negative two. Part of my answer. Let me use this information. Let me plug it in here. So I have four x minus four times a negative two equals 24. So I have that four x plus eight equals 24. The plus eight, because a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's why I wrote plus eight. All right. Now, the let me separate them through the equal sign. The plus eight, let me move it over as a minus eight. So I get four X is equal to 16. Once I divide by four, I get that X is equal to four. There's my X and my Y value. Lastly, for this type, let's take a look at 52. I can cancel the y's if I want. Multiply the top by 10. So the y's are going to cancel out. I can cancel the x's if I want. Multiply the bottom by 2. And that's actually what I'm going to do. Let me multiply the bottom by 2. I'm going to cancel the x. So that gives me 4x minus y equals negative 6. All right, don't do anything to the first equation. The second one multiplied everything by two, so that gives me negative four X plus 20 wide, it's equal to 44. And I know the X's cancel out. So I have 19 wide equals, now 44 minus six, what's that, uh, 38? Let me divide both sides by 19, and I get y is equal to 2. Let me use that. Where can we use that? Let's use it on this one. So I have 4x minus 2. It's equal to negative 6. My minus 2, let me cancel it out. Let me write it on the other side as a plus 2. So that gives me 4x is equal to negative 4. Divide both sides by 4. So I get x equals negative 1. Cool. Now, word problems are not that different. Let's take a look. James School is selling tickets to a spring musical. On the first day of tickets, ticket sales, the school sold one adult ticket and nine child tickets. So let me write this thing down. And they made a total of $30. So let me emphasize, this is what I'm looking at. So I'm gonna write one A, one adult, plus nine C for nine child tickets. And all together was $30. And then on the second day, I see that they took $39 by selling eight adult tickets and five child tickets. So I'm gonna say 8A plus five child tickets. All of this together was 39. Okay, 
find the price of an adult ticket and the price of a child ticket. So in this case, I'm asking for both. What's how much is the adult ticket and how much is the child ticket? In your case, I'm for your homework, I'm gonna ask for just one specifically. My case, because I had to solve for both. Let me see, which letter can I cancel out A? I'm gonna cancel out A, but I'm gonna multiply everything on top by a negative eight. So that gives me negative eight A minus 72 C is equal to negative 240. The second equation is 8A plus 5C is equal to 39. And I know that A's cancel out. Now the C's are going to be negative. Some of you might be like, well, I cannot have a negative C. Why not? I have that negative 67C is equal to negative 201. Now let me divide both of these by a negative 67. Good thing is negative divided by negative is positive. 201 divided by 67 is three. So the child ticket, a child ticket is $3. Now I have to find out what's the adult ticket. So I'm gonna actually use this first equation. I'm gonna say A plus nine times three is equal to 30. So I have that A plus 27 is equal to 30. The 27, let me move it over as a minus. So A is equal to three. All right, so the adult tickets are $3 as well. Let's take a look at here, 54. A plane traveled 1,232 kilometers each way to Warsaw and back. So it traveled to a place and then came back. The distance between the two places is 1,232 kilometers. I'm gonna use that in a little. The trip there was with the wind and it took 14 hours. The trip back was into the wind and the trip back took 28 hours. What is the speed of the plane in still air? And what is the speed of the wind? All right, so let's take a look. The trip there was with the wind. So, and it took 14 hours. So I'm gonna say 14 times P, right? The P is gonna represent how many kilometers the plane is advancing. It traveled for 14 hours, so 14 times P, right? P is gonna be how many kilometers per hour. So that's gonna give me how many kilometers was the plane. But then the wind kind of helped us for 14 hours as well. So 14 times W and all of this was 1,232. Remember 14 P is 14 hours that the plane is pushing. How, how much is the plane advancing? 14 W is how much is the wind helping us advance in those 14 hours? Combine is the distance, which is 1,232. Now the trip back took 28 hours. So and then for that one, I'm gonna say 28 P because it's 28 hours of the plane. But now because this one, we're going against the wind, I'm gonna say minus 28 W. The distance is still 1,232. Okay, so let me cancel out one of my letters. Let me multiply the first one by two. I see the W's are going to cancel out. So that gives me 28 P plus 28 W is equal to 2,000 464 and then I have 28p minus 28w is equal to 1232. The w's cancel out. Now the p's 28 plus 28 is 56. So I have 56p. Now 2464 plus 1232 is 3000. 696. 
let me divide both by 56. And I get P equals 66. All right. So P, the plane, the plane is traveling at 66 kilometers per hour. Good. If I was looking for plane only, there you go. But actually, in my case, I'm asking for both. What is the, now I have to solve for W? I'm going to use this in here. So let me rewrite the equation here. I have 14 times 66, because I know what P is, plus 14W equals 1,232. Now, 14 times 66 is 924. So I have 924 plus 14W equals 1,232. This 924, let me write it as a minus 924. So let's see, that gives me I have 14W equals 308. Let me divide both sides by 14. And it says W equals 22. All right, so the plane is going 66 kilometers per hour and the wind is going 22 kilometers per hour. Simple. 